What's up guys, it's Jake here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an iCloud bypass on the latest iOS 13.3.1 and below. To start, we're going to need to head over to our Mac. Okay guys, so the first step is to download the iCloud bypass folder. This will be down in the description below. Then you're going to extract both of the DMG files and open them. Once you have done that, you can close the folder. And then you'll want to open a new finder window. And you're going to drag in the Sliver app into your applications. And then you're also going to want to drag the Check Rain app into your applications. You must drag them into your applications folder, otherwise this will not work. Then you can eject both of these. And then you can head over to your Applications folder and open the Check Rain app. You may have to open it a couple of times, depending on the security preferences of your Mac. So once you're inside, you want to plug in your device. So I'm going to turn on my device. And as you can see, if I do go into it, and I do try to set it up, it will say act, trying to activate. And then my device is actually iCloud locked as you can see here so the next step is to plug in your device so if I take my lightning cable so now that my device is plugged in you're going to go back to check rain and then click on the start button then it's gonna say it's gonna put your device in DFU mode and then you just wanna press next again so as you can see here if I do press next, my device does get put into recovery mode. So once it's in recovery mode, this message will pop up and you're going to click on start. And then depending on your device, you're just going to follow the instructions on the screen. And then your device will get put into DFU mode. So for me, it was the power and volume down button. And so once it's in DFU mode, it will say it has entered it successfully. And it's going to say... Now it's going to boot your device, so as you can see here, put up the check rain logo. And now it is going to boot my device. Okay, so now that your device is booted, you can click on the done button. And we will not be needing check rain anymore. So you can quit check rain. Now you want to open the sliver app. You can either use spotlight or the finder applications folder. So once you're inside, you're going to click on the More Options button, then click on Bypass 13.3.1. Even though it does say this, it works on any iOS firmware that does work with CheckRain. Then you want to turn on your device and go to the iCloud Activation Lock screen. So it'll say it'll take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, and then if you do wait a couple of seconds, this screen will pop up. And so now we can go back to our computer and click on the Relay Device Info tab. And you're click on Got It. And then you're going to press on it, Make It Rain. This will take a couple of seconds. And then it's going to say iCloud Bypass Done. And you can click on OK. And so then now if we click on the Back button here, it'll say it'll take a minute to activate your iPhone. As you can see, now we are on the Data and Privacy screen. And now you can go through and set up your device. So as you can see, we are now on the home screen. And then we can also head into the Check Rain app and just click on Install Cydia. And then we have a jailbroken and iCloud bypass device. Now we can also head over into the iTunes app or in the finder of a different computer if it's updated. And so if we head over to iTunes, it'll say, Welcome to your new iPhone. On some of the old iCloud bypasses, you were never able to use iTunes. So this is a big step, so we can press on Continue. Get started. And now if you want, you can sync your music, movies, TV shows, and any other apps. So this is pretty cool. I'm very excited. And then now we also do have Cydia on our home screen. Now, if for some reason your computer does not work, I will show you a way to see what the issue is. So if we head back to our computer, 
and we quit out of iTunes, and we quit out of Sliver. We're going to press on Done and Back. Then we can quit out of Sliver. You want to go uh, into the Finder and go to your Applications folder. Once you're in the Applications folder, you want to scroll down until you do find the Sliver app. So here it is. And you're going to right-click and click on Show Package Contents. Click on Contents again, and then click on Mac OS, and then you'll see this executable file. You want to open Terminal and open a new window. Then you can just drag the executable in and press on the dash key and then press enter. Once that is open and you do click on more options, bypass iOS 13.1, then you will be able to click on relay device info. And as you can see here, it tells you what is going on in the background. So this is uh, forwarding the local port to remote port 44. You can click on it, got it. And then Make It Rain will also show you what it does here. So it does show you what does go on in the background and how it does bypass. If you do click on the untethered bypass, it says this feature is still being worked on. So I will give you guys an update once the untethered bypass is out. But for now, anytime you do want to do this, you will have to use Check Rain to boot the device. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.